Hello Gemini, this is your October 1st, October 15th, 2016 read. For the main read, I'm using the Vision Quest Tarot by Diana S. Winter and Joe Dozy, D-O-S-E with the X at mark at the end for that person's last name. And for the advice cards, the Romance Angels Oracle Deck by Doreen Virtue. Decks, of course, have been pre-shuffled, and let's get right to it. Okay, that's interesting. We got a lot going on here already. Uh, let me move some of this out of the way. Didn't realize I had this all cluttered up here. Things you got, I got. I'm getting like the rep repetitious three with you. Three, 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 three. I'm getting threes. And let's just keep this in mind here. Okay. Where we're starting with your overall energy for this time frame is very interesting. Because typically I have one card, maybe two pop out, with you, three. Which is why I'm getting that three. I'm getting like a threes, three, three, three. Um, these three cards, like trumping them I have the Son of Air, which is communication. Which with Ari or, Aries, Gemini, you guys communicate anyway. Um, you're the more mutable sign, of course. But you definitely communicate. You get a lot of thoughts going on, a lot of mental activity. And then below that, you have the medicine woman and inner order. Which, for this time frame, what, what we have going on here is um, you sorting out your thoughts and feelings with other people. And I feel like you're trying to go to the next level. And you're using like a few different venues, a few different ways to do that, a few different people. Like you're you're sorting things out. Like, I feel like you're going in a direction, but you're using different avenues to tr test out the waters. And you're or getting things in order by just, you know, doing little test runs here and there, almost. Like, running it by people in different ways, uh, in different scenarios. Like, just, I think you're sorting things out, but you're very, I mean, almost covert, but not, pur not purposefully. Almost like just testing things out in different ways. Like, there's a lot of different... It's almost like a lot of different avenues to go the same direction. Because I feel like there's a direction you're going in. You're just talking about it in different ways and going about different ways to test out the waters. Good. Um, I'm actually going to even pop out some advice cards to go forward here. A communication... When we start this time frame... We're in Libra, which is a very complimenting sign for Gemini because it's another air sign and the communicated communicative sign. It's a very peaceful sign, uh, and in conjunction with yours, it can not only get things going in a very chatty way, but in a very copacetic. Let's all get along. Let's have a good time. You may have questions. You may have like controversial questions you unanswered, but you're very smart in taking it in different ways to get the answer you're looking for without causing ripples in the water. Uh, I feel like there's very a lot of mental activity going on in this time frame for you and a lot of talking, but I feel like you move move back and forth quick enough to where you can actually ask the hard questions without causing problems. Um, and I feel like you're using that thoughtful communication in the very beginning of this time frame. October 1st, I'm noticing with her, her eyes are closed. Which I feel like um, this makes me feel like the um, like a blind person going down the street. And what I mean by that is they know what they're doing. Like it's a blind person that's used to being blind, and they're going down the street. They're using their stick and cane. They they know what's there. They know where they're going. They know how to get there. Like they have it all down. They're paying attention with their ears, with the touch, with the cane. Like they're on their way. They're going. They're perfectly fine. Uh, they're in a spot in their life where they can handle it and I feel like that's the same for you the reason I'm making the analogy is other people looking from the outside in may see that person and not think like they might be like oh my god they need help or oh my god like how are they gonna make it down the street like their eyes are closed they can't see anything they're blind like they're not understanding that that person is using other senses to get what they want and I feel like this is what's going on with you with your communication at this point like you're using different avenues and you're you're coming across like you don't really see what's going on but you're definitely in tune and know what's going on with this situation uh, 
but you may be playing it a little aloof. Let's use that word. Um, this came up above that, which depending on the situation, of course, we all have our romantic sides, but I'm feeling more and more uh, with these cards, especially when they come up in certain arenas. This means you're calling in what you want. If for you it is um, a romantic situation, which is a general read, and if that's what you're thinking about, if that you think this matches up with, then go with that. If you're not getting that romantic feel, I'm getting that you're calling in exactly what you want from the situation. You're using your mental abilities to go forward the way you want, and it's almost passive-aggressive, I feel. Like, people around you don't realize what you're actually doing, and it's not a bad thing. It's just you're going a certain way you want to go, and you're just doing what you need to do to get there. It's not malicious. It's just one way of going about it. It's like you don't have to share what you want to do, so you're not. It's it's just like... it's. It's not like holding it back from someone. It's just like you don't really need to tell people what you want to do, so you're not. I just feel like that's what's happening. Um, the people around you, though, is very. It's very interesting because I feel like they're they're very curious about what's going on. Um, I feel like they're trying to help you. <laughs> like I'm getting that they don't they don't get what you're doing. They don't they don't think you have direction. I'm getting that's what's happening. They're seeing you going in different ways, and they're trying to get involved and help you. I think that they're looking for clarity on their side to understand what's going on. And they have good intentions. They're very caring. They very much care about you. Um, they're very expressive with trying to help you. And I feel like you're just kind of playing aloof with it. And you just, you're you just not ready to let them know what you're thinking and where you're going. Uh, but you're... It's interesting because you're very much communicating in different ways and different avenues, and to them it seems very scattered and all over the place. But to you, there's a reason. Like you're, it's like you're putting together a puzzle in different ways, and they just don't get that that's what you're doing. That's what I'm feeling. Um, and as we go from the daughter of error, which is this blind man going down the street and having complete control, but people not realizing it, I feel like the next one, the clown, which is typically the fool, is so perfect for the next step because. You're actually getting into something, but people don't... I feel like people don't realize that you, you've you already done the research. And, um... Whatever it is you're getting into, it's a good thing. Because uh, right after that... Because I feel like it's, it's like, whatever you're getting into, it's like you can't really hide from that. Like, people see you're getting into something. Whatever it is you're choosing to do, people see it. And I feel like you're, it's working out well, and you might be even hiding that it's working out well. I feel like you're being very aloof, and I, I almost feel like you're enjoying it. Like, it's a good time, in a sense. Uh, part of it may be that you just don't want to get into conflicts with others about what your choices are, so you're just kind of playing aloof for that reason. You just don't want to involve people in what's going on. Um, when I'm seeing this one, this card for your advice card right above it, I feel like you chose well. You chose well. You know what's going on. I just, I don't think people around you see it. I think you purposely don't want them to. I'm getting that really strongly here. So I'm really curious. In the comments below, let me know exactly if you want to, of course, because, you know, in this time frame you're playing aloof, so you may not want to. <laughs> but feel free to tell me, uh, or give me a little hints about what it is I'm touching on, because this is very interesting to me. Um... As you round out this time frame, going from the 15th, I feel like this is going more out of Libra. I'm kind of getting that feel. Like, as we get into the Scorpio time, I feel like the fruits of your labor are more apparent, and the choices that you made, like, I, I feel like you're kind of cluing people in, like, about what you did know and what you didn't know, and that you knew a lot more than they realized. Like, I, I just feel like, um, it's almost like a game. It's almost like a mental game. Like, you just, um... It was kind of fun to play a little aloof and to have more cards lined up the way you wanted to than people realized. And I feel like as you move into the Scorpio time frame, I'm really feeling like this is into the Scorpio time frame. Like the fruits of your labor are being shown and you're just kind of dedicated to the choice you made. So overall this time frame, I feel like you're getting things in order. You're communicating in very in multiple ways to to figure out what you want, you're getting things right in order, and you have a set mind about what you want. Um, as you start into this time frame, you're kind of, people don't realize you know what you're doing, but you definitely are using different modes. Like, you have your senses on, 
you're not using the direct method they're expecting you to to find what you need, not and they're completely unaware that you're using other avenues, other methods to get the information you want. And it's you're getting what you want. You're pulling in that information to get what you want. Granted, it says calling in your soulmate, so for some of you, it definitely could be a relationship. For others, I feel like it's some situation. It's it's very broad with these general readings, so I try to keep it open. Uh, so the base of it is you are pulling in what you want. You've de you're deciding what you want. I feel like you may have even already decided what you want, and you're just honing it in and pulling it in. As you go from that blind man going down the street that knows exactly what he's doing, but people don't understand that he does, or blind women, whatever, let's not be uh, pigeonholed to gender. The next step is it looks to people on the outside that you're just jumping in without realizing what you're doing. I feel like this card is very much saying you have the enthusiasm and you're very excited about what you're doing. And people on the outside don't realize that you know what you're doing. I feel like you're ready, you're going forward. I'm getting the fox energy very strong for you. Very smart, intelligent, very cunning. Um, made choices based on what he wanted, based on what she saw, based on what you saw, be you male or female. Uh, I apologize for the gender role there, because these are general, and well, however that applies to you. You go into the next step. Uh, I feel like it goes well. I do feel like it goes well, but I feel like you might hide that from people, just because I feel like it's becoming like almost like a strategic game. Like I just feel like it's you're in this mental game mode, and you're just kind of tickled a little, or kind of amused at how people are kind of running around a little bit, not thinking you know what you're doing, and you're like, I know what I'm doing. I'm just not going to let you know that I know what I'm doing yet. It's just a little teasy fun, and it's almost like you're looking at the situation like, what if I didn't? It's not that big a deal. So what? But I do, and, I'll, and you kind of let them in. I feel like I feel like as it goes closer to the Scorpio time frame, that comes more apparent. I feel like you made a good choice. Um, I almost feel like some of you are making a point to others as you go forward that you want them to realize that you are more mentally capable than they might realize or accept, and that's one of the reasons you're kind of doing this. Um, there's a, a lot of love around you. Uh, again, there's people looking out for you, caring for you, people looking for clarity about what's going on in your life, and they're expressing it, and I feel like you have the medicine man down here, and you had the medicine woman at the top, which for a general read, it's just like matching attributes. I feel like you're going, it's just like they're, they have genuine honest feelings and care about you honestly and you have genuine honest feelings too about what you're doing and you care about what you're doing i feel like you're both in a good place like the outside people in you are in a good place i just feel like you're trying to make a point that you're smarter and make better decisions than they may realize i feel like that might be a lot for some of you so of course if you have any questions of course or actually comments go ahead and put those below i'd love to hear how these affect people uh, if you want a reading from me, go ahead and shoot me an email, james for astral at gmail.com, james the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you very much.